Hibachi is definitely one of our like long-lasting brands for sure. Very iconic. You know, it's always been around, but it made a big boom uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, we've made, we've built this uh, big Comic Con display, bring it to Comic Con, and just had lines wrapped around the booths. It was crazy. So we are constantly doing new Tamagotchis. We do the classic ones, and then we have, also have these IP ones here too. So we make them for like BTS, for Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, Star Wars. The displays are also different on the other side too. So once you uh, once you guys exit, just make sure you guys can check out the other side of the display too. And then we have these products called the Hug Me's, which are like little display stands for your Tamagotchis too. So this product comes with the Tamagotchi and with the figure set. So we do these for like Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, tons of like the other IPs, not just this one. This is actually the newest product. I think it does have like the colors and stuff. One it's, it's definitely that new age, like not just like eight bit, you know, style. Um, this is our product line that we developed called uh, like the Mega Cat Project. So these are like Naruto as Nyaruto, or like Gunyam, or uh, Sailor Moon. So like just very cute, like kind of like cat, you know, collectibles. Uh, it's not a, a Bandai brand, but it's one of our third parties called Nanoblock. So Nanoblock is a building block similar to like Lego. Um, the pieces are a lot smaller, um, but uh, the big draw for this one definitely the IP is uh, Pokemon, uh, along with uh, Sanrio. Yeah, just make sure you're all clear on your. Oh, yeah, T's crossed, I's got it. So this is definitely one of our most growing brands in the last year or so. Uh, but in addition to Nanoblock, we do the model kits. So these are all. Pokemon model kits that you can make. They're called the Quick Series, so you can just make them like in like you know 20, 30 minutes, basically. All snap fit. You don't need any paint or any acrylics or anything like that. Uh, we also have paper theater, so like 3D craftable displays that you make on your own puzzles. So this whole section, like I said, is like all the cute, cuddly, and and buildable. Wow. So we're in block, you have tons of IPs. Uh, we got Kirby, Sanrio, a lot of anime. This is a new line that we're uh, we're gonna be selling. It's called uh, the Kai Tai Puzzle. It shows the inside of like the animals and tells you like the, what kind of cut each meat is. So it says like you know like you know, the which you know which part is like the 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 neck or like the you know the butt and all that kind of stuff. And it tells you exactly what it is. Uh, and so it's kind of like a Real life food, basically, little model kit. So this is a new product line from Gundam uh, Shanghai. So we're gonna be starting distributing these, but these are like blind boxy kind of Gundam figures. Also have the Mega House uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Monster Collection line as well. This is always gonna be for us. Over here is the Bandai Hobby section. So obviously we have like the dinosaurs, kind of more sciency, Digimon, Star Wars. Uh, though by far, not by by a long margin. Our most popular uh, hobby line from, from Bandai is going to be the Gundam model kits, like the robots. Um, we also offer the paints. So all of our robots you can just build like normally. You don't need to, you don't need to buy any of this stuff. You just buy the, the kit and it comes with everything you need to build the product. This is kind of a good example. So this is like the normal model kit, this white Gundam. And this is what it looks like when someone paints it. So this is the same, this is the same product. Just this one has the coating and the painting and all that. Yeah, so this will typically what a box would look like for the model kits. Very art, you know, uh, for the build, for the box, and then really gives you an idea of like what's you know inside. These ones are more introductory, you know, like intro collectible, you know, 20, 20 to thirty dollar price point. And this display case shows you more of like the next kind of tier up. So like robot spirits, Chogo, and some of the bigger boxes that you see down here are like the figures that you see like in this display case. So these are all pre-built as well. You have to, you know, the, the skill in these is posing them, making sure that you have the cool, you know, uh, display. But everything is already pre-built. You don't have to like snap fit or anything. You just take it out of the box and play with it. Very nice. In terms of like ranking, I would say it's Dragon Ball number one. Uh, Godzilla number two, or like Dragon Ball number one, Gundam number two, Godzilla number three, and they're probably like One Piece number three. Oh. Uh, it's from Mercury. Uh, it came out earlier this year. Huge hit, honestly, a really big popular uh, anime for Gundam. 
These are from the anime that's starting in October, uh, called Gundam Metaverse. But yeah, it's supposed to start in October, I heard oh. on YouTube. So basically you buy the box and just refill the box with the contents. <laughs> yeah, kind of entry level toys basically. If, if your customer isn't worried about like the displaying or like the price, they just want something cool and fun to play with, this is probably the best product. Sometimes, you know, when you're talking to people, they just look at the character. Oh, but these are still very popular, you know, like, it's yeah. still a very you know, affordable price point, anywhere between 10 to $20. It's definitely good to, like, get, like, the best. I have all the other products. So we've, so we've done CNC, hobby, and toy. Now we're going to get into the action figures. So this is Ichiban figure. Or Ichiban Show. So this is a. Have you heard of a prize figure before? Yes. So these are all prize figures in okay. Japan. Uh, you but get I these. Prize figures come in a smaller box. So uh, the, the prize figures that you're probably thinking of is maybe like this. So like these ones are literally inside the crane machine. Yes. So we still call both of them prize figures. Okay. These ones you win through like a raffle. Oh. So basically you grab like a ticket and then you see if you want like an A prize or like a C prize or an F prize. Oh. The way that this works, right? So Ichiban Kuji in Japan. We don't do this in America because we don't have the raffling system. But in Japan, what you would do is you'd go to like a like a 7-Eleven or something, and they'd have a whole bunch of like stickers on a, on a menu board. And you grab one of the stickers, you pay like five bucks, and then when you look at the sticker, you open it up, and it says like A prize or like D prize or something, right? So these figures are actually the A, B, and C prizes in, for those raffles. We don't do the raffle in America just because of the legality of the like, gameplay and stuff. Um, so we just sell the figures in America. So you can't actually buy these in Japan. You can only do the raffle to win oh. one of the figures. So that's why they're a little yeah. unique here. This is actually the Zaka products. So Ichiban Kujia, the raffle I was just explaining to you, these are like the top prizes, like A prize, B prize, C prize. These are like the lower tier prices that you would get in the assortment. So if you pull the sticker and it says like D or something, you'd get like one of these or something instead. So it's not like you're guaranteed the figure. But for like five bucks a pull, it's not a bad deal because at least, at the very least, you're getting something like this. Uh, in the past, we haven't been selling anything like this, um, but we are considering bringing them to, you know, to market in the northern market. Yeah, so these are all price figures. They're all from Ichiban, Ichiban Kuji. They have different scales sometimes, obviously. So sometimes it's like this size and this size. They have uh, different lines within Ichiban Kuji. So there's like Master Lee's and there's, you know, like the different ones. So, Depending on which line it is, the size of it and the price is a little bit different. Oh, this is yeah. The Bam Pressers are other prize figure line. Uh, these ones, like I said, you would like literally find them in the crane machine, like in the machine. Uh, we don't have the machines here, so that's why we just sell the products in uh, stateside. Uh, but Q-Pasca is a, is a product line developed for more of a female demographic. It's supposed to have like kind of the big eyes, big head, small body. Kind of like if you went to like Disneyland and got like a drawing or something, you know? That's kind of like the idea. Um, so we do a lot of the more like feminine uh, lines. We have like Disney right behind you, for instance. Oh. But then we also do, you know, like the anime and other products. It's not like it can't. It's not like a boy can't buy it, but it, it is a line developed primarily for girls. Um, so this is, I would say, the most like popular, like family, homey, feel good anime right now. And the the collector's So these are some of the statues that we have for sale. So this is. The Tamashi Nations display case. So earlier we saw a whole bunch of like toys, Ichiban Show, and Presto. This is Tamashi Nations, our premier figure line for Bandai Namco. So uh, we've got SH Figure Arts, which is our like action figure line. And then we also have the Figure Arts Mini, which is like our mini figure line. And uh, the action figures typically retail anywhere between like $60 to $80. The mini is roughly around like $30. bucks. we got Godzilla and Kong. is one of our top grossing IPs for us. Uh, we do uh, a line called SH Monster Arts, basically you know, scale figures of uh, monsters, uh, and we do roughly maybe like one every couple months. Uh, 
Bandai toy line called Monster Movie Monster. Uh, we just came out this month. How much is it? By the time I'm looking at the price, probably 30, 40. That's the MSRP of 20. I have to sell it. I mean, the legs and the arms only move a little bit, so it's not like an articulated figure. For twenty dollars, you really can't get it. I've been showing this to everyone. It always like looks amazing when it comes to twenty dollars. For Nano Block, we've got Godzilla. I mean, like I said, for Nano Block, there's so many great IPs. Pokemon being the best, or most popular of them all, for sure. So now we're kind of in the Demon Slayer area, as you can probably tell. Demon Slayer has been huge. We have the movie a couple years back. Uh, so all of our brands definitely uh, covering the people. So we've got the Hobby, Mama Kids, we've got the Toys, Toy Team. That's like going to be similar to like the Presto figures that we have, or like the Ichiban Bunch shows. So these are all like one pose, you know, figures. But like, you know, for $27, like it's really hard to pass up. These are also in a similar price range too. I think it's like $50 to $60. The Mega Cap project is definitely one of our most popular I can lines. Tell, you know, so the Miyato is a popular The so Sailor Moon, Naruto, uh, Gundam, and then uh, Nyan Piece. So they, they're, they're definitely very creative. So normally, like I said, the action figures retail for around sixty to eighty dollars. But we also do make introductory versions of them too. So this Naruto figure is thirty-five dollars. So we do have some uh, more basic versions that come with like maybe less accessories, less like hands, less faces, but kind of has like that introductory price point. To kinda so get... uh, for Tamashii Nations, we also do this line called Figure at Zero, which is kind of similar to the Ichiban items that we were looking at earlier. But they have a little bit more, you know, style and accents and whatnot. So a little bit more pricey, but even then, like you know, eighty to one hundred dollars is still a pretty good bargain for this stuff. Demon Slayer case is kind of like the, the higher end products that we have. So again, like the minis that we were showing you guys earlier, the Spy Family, and these are the figure at zero, it's like the scale figures that they offer. Yeah, this was a big, really, really popular one for us, uh, Berserk. Uh, we're going to be offering the, the next uh, Berserk figure on Monday. So this is actually a pretty interesting line of ours called May Show like, he would be Star like Wars. The ideal so we don't have the Star Wars license in America, of America, but this is kind of how we circumvent it. Yeah. So we have the May Show line, which is kind of a uh, combination of like Samurai meets Star Wars. So everybody that you see here kind of has like that samurai kind of and aesthetic so to it. Oh, the one with like the top knot and stuff. So we actually, this is the first time we're, we're showing this guy off. We haven't even solicited this guy yet for pre-order. Yeah, that's another popular one for sure. Dragon Ball is by far our most popular IP. Um, we basically exclusively make the products collectibles for Dragon Ball. So if you ever see like a Dragon Ball toy, 99% it's probably a Bandai product. Um, so obviously we have the toy products and stuff that we've already seen here and there. These are like the more higher end ones that we've been talking about. Uh, but again, these guys typically retail for like 60 to 80, but the trunks, the Vegeta, and this uh, freezer are all $35 in a SRP. Wow. Yeah, these are more of like the toy lines, Ichiban Show, Ben Presto. All, like all of our brands cover the toy this is our video game corner, and this is our Jump Magazine corner. So if you're not familiar, Jump Magazine is like the biggest, you know, comic in Japan, essentially. And all the famous animes that you're probably familiar with are serialized in this magazine called Jump. Uh, so like Dragon Ball, One Piece, Spy Family, um, all the ones that you see here, so Bleach, Yu-Gi-Oh, all of them had comics in Jump Magazine. When you say Jump, Jump, One Piece? Yeah, Jump Magazine, yeah. The logo is kind of like a pirate. Face, yeah. But it comes out once a month, and it basically has one chapter for each like different comic book. Um, so like that's how like one piece gets distributed, um, and then and then each comic book makes their own like book at the end, you know, after a number of chapters come out. But Jump Magazine comes out once a month with their like one chapter. Yeah, Sailor Moon obviously is a really big one for us too. We can't neglect the girls, you know. I gotta make sure that they get their figures and stuff too. So you know, as, as hot and cool as some of these guys are. You know, I think they definitely gravitate more towards like yeah. Sailor Moon. So we have the full lineup of Sailor Moon uh, action figures. Every character, you know, Sailor, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, we got them all. All the minis. We even have Chibi Moon. And like, so Elden Ring is a Bandai Namco entertainment game along with Front Software. Okay. So it's actually a group company uh, product. So uh, these are the two minis that we released last year. 
This is the action figure we released last year. And then these two are actually going to go on pre-order on Monday. Oh. So these ones are the first reveal of the products as well. Yeah, well, what about the tour today with One Piece? So One Piece, you know, iconic, you know, anime in Japan. Honestly, the top grossing anime in Japan, like, by far. Uh, you know, and the popularity definitely has ca caught up in America. Um, I always tell people, like, before the pandemic, people would always say they didn't want to watch One Piece because it was too much. A thousand there's, episodes. There's a thousand episodes of the Steam show, and it's still going. <laughs> and so they were like, I can't catch up, I don't want to watch it. But during the pandemic, everybody ran out of stuff to watch, you know? And so during that time, they're like, well, I guess there's a thousand episodes of this TV show to watch, and that's what a lot of people claim is the reason why they got into One Piece, honestly. Because whenever it's a real person, the, the scrutiny is a lot higher, right? If it's like Luffy or if it's an anime character, it's like, well, it's a cartoon and it looks different all the time. But like, when it's a face, they know what the face looks like. So if it doesn't look like the face, then they get upset. So I will say with the feedback on these ones have been really good. I mean, if you look at the show, it looks just like the guys. Yes, the show. I agree, I agree. But yeah, I mean, the, the boon has definitely been big. You know, it's, it's nice to see those steady bumps. And I think it's bringing a lot of new people into the anime for sure. So for One Piece, we're constantly producing new collectibles. This Yamato one is a brand new one. And then uh, this Luffy uh, with the white and the, uh, and the, the law, the two placards. Yeah. Those ones will go for pre-order on Monday as well. Okay. I expect this one to be one of the biggest figures that we have for this year. Okay. Hey, and these are models are available to yes. buy yeah, These kits, I, um, I have actually a line list that I can send you later. But I, I did see that we have a lot of the ships available. Okay. Because your um, your partner also wants one piece. Now, are these in English or is it going to be in Japanese or does it even matter? Um, the in the in game part is in English. A lot of the like text is still I think just like kept the same localized. In fact, the Gundam kits too. I always tell people the the, the instruction manual and the box and everything is still in Japanese. But there's a QR code on the instruction manual, and once you scan that, it'll take you to a PDF version of the uh, oh. instruction manual in English oh. online. So that way you don't have to like freak out. For the most part with the kids you can kind of visually yeah, figure out like take this one together. But you know sometimes they'll say like you know push harder than usual or something in Japanese. So at least that way you can scan the QR code and see like what they're saying. <laughs> Yeah, I always tell people the Ichiban Kuchi line, the Ben Presto line is honestly some of the best bang you get for your buck. How's the Sandland uh, um, um, IP? It's good. We did the movie last year, earlier this year. Um, we actually have a couple more on uh, this year too. If you're not familiar, Sandland is a one-off story from Akira Toriyama, yeah. who uh, made Dragon Ball. So if you actually look at the eyes, you can kind of tell like, oh yeah, that looks kind of like a Dragon Ball character. Especially if you look at the humans, and you can tell like that looks like someone being Dragon Ball. <laughs> similar costume, similar exactly. pants, similar exactly. stuff. It kind of looks like the the, the uh, one of those androids. Exactly, exactly. So this is the actual model kit that you would find. And you don't have to paint this. Sorry. You don't have to paint this. No, no, everything is just good to go. So. And then we do obviously Tokusatsu, which stands for like special production, kind of the category of Ultraman, uh, Common Rider, if you've ever heard of him. Uh, and then like Godzilla, kind of all that same kind of kaiju superhero demographic. We definitely have tons of products for as well. In fact, we've got the latest uh, Tomashi Nation's Ultraman figure here, the Ultraman Blazar, the, the one on the left over there. So Ultraman comes out with a new uh, show every single year with a new actor every year. So we keep up with the, the releases and have products for all of those products. Yeah, Tomashi does a great job of making like stop motion videos and kind of displaying the products and 